Hey, I'm Jim Weber in the Fox 13 Weather Center. Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. Still got two areas that we are watching. We've got that invest in the Gulf of Mexico and also watching Hurricane Larry. First stop, though, we'll go into the Gulf of Mexico. And you look at this area, and you're probably looking at this and saying, hey, wait a second, this looks a little bit better organized than what we saw yesterday working its way across the Gulf of Mexico. And, and you're right, because it is getting better organized. Still the possibility we could see something developing with this anytime you've got something in the Gulf of Mexico, you have to watch it because we've got plenty of warm water. And even though we are still seeing some stronger wind shear, that may not be enough to completely overcome this system from actually developing. But regardless of whether it actually develops or not before making landfall later tonight across the panhandle, it's not a wind situation. It's still just a rain event, uh, but still can bring some pretty heavy rains across at least portions of Florida and then up into Georgia heading over towards the Carolinas as we go through the next couple of days. It's just really just kind of that little semantic of whether it gets a name or a number or something like that or does it just continue to be a bunch of rain. But regardless of whether it's named or not, it's still, it's a bunch of rain at this point. So you look at the computer models and you've got that general idea. Remember we're talking about a ridge that's been suppressed a bit further to the south and then you've got a, a trough that is to the north and so that will tend to kind of funnel it in that direction that's why you see it just moving towards the north and the east over the next several days then we have to watch once it gets into the atlantic still some computer models suggesting that it may develop a little bit more but then it basically be skirting the east coast working its way on towards the northeast so wouldn't be a big issue but that's where we may actually see a little more development with this so just kind of wait and see but the general idea is as we go through the next few days we are going to see quite a bit of rain up across the panhandle regardless of whether this develops or not you can see uh, where we're looking at some of these areas uh, i'll go ahead and circle it uh, between two and three inches of rain uh, the further south that you go you can see once you get into central florida kind of a cutoff there where we're looking anywhere from about a half to maybe an inch of rain a bit further to our north uh, up towards citrus county but big rainmaker up across the panhandle here is hurricane larry uh you can tell by just guy kind of by comparing it to yesterday it's not as well organized uh, the eye not clearly evident in this uh, becoming a little more ragged uh, you're seeing a, a cooling of a lot of the or i should say a warming of a lot of the cloud tops where you're not seeing as many of those cold bright cloud tops that's anytime you have the very cold or strong thunderstorms that's where you get these colors that are indicating the colder cloud tops that's what that enhanced satellite loop shows so hurricane larry right now winds are at 110 miles an hour forecast track really hasn't changed a whole lot still keeping it to the east of bermuda but obviously we will be talking about some pretty large swells not only across bermuda but across the eastern seaboard as we go through the next several days and then it works its way on towards the north and the east up towards newfoundland uh, still with winds up to about 90 miles an hour and then working its way on towards the north where it, it starts to transition into a non-tropical system so we'll keep you updated on both of these systems right here on myfoxhurricane.com